Good morning. My name is Tom Filati, and on behalf of Father Walsh and our parish community, we welcome you to St. Pius X, and thank you for celebrating this Feast of the Epiphany with us. As we listen to the readings today, let us look to the wise men and their courage, willing to testify to God's wondrous deeds. Please stand. As with gladness men of old did the guiding star behold, as with joy they hailed its light, leading onward beaming bright. So most gracious Lord, may we evermore be led to Thee. Good morning. A very, very warm welcome to, welcome to all of you in the Parish Center at home. We're awful glad to have you. And if you are a first-timer uh, watching us or with us, we're awful glad to have you. Begin the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. you know, today is, the, of course, the story of the three kings coming. And uh, it's also a story of, of uh, Herod and his great jealousy. Ah, his great jealousy. And so... Let's just pause for a moment, just call to mind, uh, you know, has that jealousy got a grip on us here or recently and we ask God for pardon and peace? Lord Jesus, you are God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And the Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father, amen. And let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, grant in your mercy that we who know you already by faith may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come, and the glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you, dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba shall come, bearing gold and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. The kings of Tarshish and the Isle shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the inflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations. It has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, and thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since you shall come, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word, and that I too may go and do him homage. After the audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. 
They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. My sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, today is the Feast of the Epiphany, sometimes called uh, the Feast of Three Kings. And um, it's always January 6th. That's the 12th day of Christmas. But in this country, we celebrate it on the Sunday closest to January 6th. Now, in some countries, you know, they celebrate it on the 6th, major feast day, country shuts down, uh, big celebration. Uh, they exchange gifts that day. And in many ways, you think about it with the three kings bringing the gifts, uh, they, that's, that makes it pretty logical, isn't it? Uh, that, that's the day they exchange the gifts, is on the, the day that the kings bring the gifts. And so, of course, today the kings bring the, the, the uh, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and, and at that time, gold is the proper gift for a king. And they bring this frankincense because that, that's incense. And so, you know, for temple worship, for Jews, that's, that's appropriate. And then uh, myrrh is for embalming uh, someone who has died. And so that's a gift that they bring as well. And so those are the three gifts they bring today. And it's a good time, you know, it always, of course, you know, Epiphany always comes at the beginning of the year and we're kind of all working through our New Year's resolutions. And I always think it's pretty wise to also think about uh, spiritual resolutions, you know, as we begin a new year, and to kind of ask that question, hey, what are, you know, what, what are three gifts that we can bring to our Lord in 2021? So I just kind of uh, quickly jotted down six things. There are dozens of things, of course, that we could do. Uh, of course, I'm, I'm thinking about the same question in my own life, but I, I, I jotted down six really quick things. I, I, I share them with you for what they're worth. Uh, number one, uh, is this the year to trust God more, uh, to trust him with your life? You know, to trust that God can get goodness out of mess and, and that, he's, that he's got a plan for us and ultimately it's a good plan. Is this the year for that? Number two, uh, is this the year to be more patient with God? Um, there are going to be surprises in 2021 for all of us, huh? things that just happen, we don't see them coming, we're blindsided by them, they are surprised. Is it this year, is this the year to be, to be patient with God with those surprises and to, to ponder and to let his plan play out? Like Mary, you know, we, she pondered being pregnant with Jesus and she allowed the plan to unfold even though she didn't understand it. So uh, is it our year to do that? Three. Um, is, it, is, is this the year to forgive someone that we haven't forgiven in a long time? Maybe, maybe it's ourselves. Maybe we've got to forgive ourselves. So uh, we have kind of built a little prison, and we've built the prison around ourselves. And is this the year to uh, break through and break out of the prison and to forgive? Number four, is this the year to be a better listener, uh, to be listening to those around us, uh, to be a better listener of God and taking the time to listen. So is this the year for that? Number five, is this the year to share more of ourselves, our time, talent, and treasure? Um, is there new ways that we can love our neighbor? Is there, maybe we volunteer for something we've never volunteered before. Maybe we uh, try to do something concretely for the poor. Uh, maybe we try to help a young person find a job. Is this the year for that? Six, is this the year to take the long view? Um, not get caught up in the details of life. Um, not to sweat out the little things. Not to, to maybe ask that question, hey, if, if our Lord's not going to ask me about this at the end of my life, then I'm not going to sweat it out. Because if he's not going to shed adrenaline over this thing, then why should I? So is this the year to uh, take the long view and, and let the little things go. So this week, um, I'd ask you to join me in taking some time 
and figuring out three things, three gifts that we can bring to our Lord in 2021. And um, not gold, frankincense, and myrrh, but concrete things in our life that draw us closer to our Lord. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And so recognizing God's generous gift to us in his son Jesus, let us bring before him our prayers for the world. For God's blessing on the new year, that God will fill the coming days with health of body, mind, and spirit, and renew the gifts of the Spirit within us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For greater trust that, like the wise men, God's light may guide us into the uncharted future and that we may follow trusting in God's love and care for us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who help others grow, particularly parents, teachers, coaches, and mentors, that they may affirm and encourage young people to fully recognize and utilize their gifts and opportunities. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are seekers, for those who are confused, those who desire commitment, and for those who wish to begin again, that God will lead them to a new beginning filled with meaning and purpose. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our newly baptized, we welcome Thomas Nalabathula, Nicholas Lupe, and Catherine Conway. May our Lord bless these children in the years to come, and may they become great servants of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have no families, for those who have been orphaned, or who are alienated from their families, that they may experience love and acceptance through this Christian community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, the intercessions in our parish prayer book, and those suffering from chronic pain, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Helen Hall, mother of Denise Buckley and Lisa Cranick, Francis Mulderry, husband of Evelyn Mulderry, Clinton Chesbro Jr., father of Jackie Dunn, Mary Pat Metzger, mother of Nancy Splanskowski and Joseph and John Metzger, and James Hohen, husband of Barbara Hohen, and the families that grieve, that they may be welcomed into the loving embrace of Christ in the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And Father of us all, we ask that you hear these prayers we offer in the name of Jesus, your Son, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The first weekend of the month is always our help collection, and, I, and I'm very, very grateful to all of you and at home who are helping to keep us afloat during these difficult times, and I'm very, very grateful to all of you.
I pray that our, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord, look with favor, we pray, on these gifts of your church, which are now offered not as gold, frankincense, and myrrh, but by he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For today, you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so the angels, archangels, thrones and dominions, and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, and make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. And in song we proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop, Howard our Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, and thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. In the Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. We adore you, who in your love divine conceal your mighty Godhead in forms of bread and wine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Oh Jesus, we Whose 
precious blood and body became our sacred feast. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Jesus, we adore you, our Savior and our King, and with the saints and angels our humble homage bring. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, Praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, and always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. Well, thanks so much for being here on site and joining us at home. Um, chalk blessing. Remember we always, at the beginning of the year, we try to bless our houses with the chalk, kind of an ancient Christian tradition. At the exits today, you'll see these little pieces of chalk. They're blessed chalk, and a little prayer, and then a way to bless your house. So I invite you to take those with you. And then uh, if you take a picture of blessing your house and send it in to us, uh, Kirsten likes to be able to play with some of those pictures and then send some things out on those Thursday constant contacts. So think about doing that and pass it along. When you finish, pass it along to a neighbor or relative so that they can bless their house. And then all the, those of you at home, if you need an errand run, you need grocery shopping, you need to go to the pharmacy, you, and you, you're having a hard time, you let us know. We'll, we got uh, plenty of people who would, would make a trip for you to help you out, okay? So don't, uh, or a prayer partner. If you want somebody to say some prayers on the, on the phone, or just a friendly phone call, we're happy to do that too. 
And so uh, certainly on, on behalf of Deacon Marty, uh, myself, we certainly wish you a, um, a great 2021. And, you know, it's, um, they're gonna be, it's gonna be a better year. And there's gonna be a lot of blessings in this 2021. And so it's uh, good we move forward. Little thought for the week ahead. COVID is highly contagious, but so is kindness, patience, love, and a positive attitude. So COVID is highly contagious, but so is kindness, patience, love, and a positive attitude. So I hope you enjoy the day, enjoy the week ahead. I will look forward to seeing you next weekend. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. And the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go proclaiming the gospel by your lives. Thanks be to God. of Orient are bearing gifts we traverse afar field and fountain moor and mountain following yonder star oh star of wonder star of night star with Still proceeding, guide us to.